the law of acquiring. Who we choose to associate with is one of the most important decisions we can make in life. It's no secret that other people have a major influence on our beliefs and values, especially when we're young. This phenomenon is called the law of acquiring. When we surround ourselves with certain people, it shapes our beliefs and values over time. Let's look at how this law works and how it's so important. What is the law of acquiring? The law of acquiring states that the people we associate with will shape our beliefs and values. It's true that birds of a feather flock together. We are drawn to those who share similar options, hobbies, and interests, and tend to adapt the same behaviors. When we spend time in the company of like-minded individuals, their ideas become our own. Take control over who you allow in your environment. Seek out role models who have the qualities and life you inspire towards. You never know what optimistic attitudes or previously unheard viewpoints may be awaiting around the corner, which can reshape how you navigate through life. The law of acquiring is an important realization on how critical it is to cultivate relationships that are beneficial for our personal growth. People are often a reflection of the five big personality traits and being surrounded by those with a high level of emotional intelligence can inspire us to develop these same traits in ourselves. By surrounding ourselves with people who have beliefs and values close to our own, we can gain insights on how to approach situations from multiple angles and challenge ideas and thoughts and even help expand our views on different perspectives. Open dialogue among individuals provides an area of growth since internalizing those ideas shared by another person fosters the ability to learn. Therefore, being mindful who we invite into our lives can cultivate better relationships and propel our values to greater heights. How the people we surround ourselves with can shape our beliefs and values. The law of acquiring states that individuals tend to be heavily shaped and influenced by the people they spend the most time with. This means that if you associate yourself with friends and family members who have strong beliefs, strong values, you are more likely to absorb their attitudes, life philosophies, and moral compass. This can ultimately lead you down a positive path in life since being around those who think critically and show resilience can make difficult but rewarding decisions easier for us to handle. If you're looking to change or grow as a person, take a look at the sort of people you tend to surround yourself with. A successful journey forward begins here. The power of positive influences. The people you surround yourself with can have a huge impact on your life, both positive and negative. If you choose to be around people who are successful, kind, and motivated, then their beliefs will likely rub off on you in some way or another. You'll start to adapt their work ethic, their habits, even their sense of humor. On the other hand, if you hang around those who are not ambitious or encouraging, chances are it will have a negative effect on your outlook in life. The impact of negative influences Negative influence can be especially damaging for all of us who may not be sure about what they want out of life. Being around people who do not take responsibility for their actions or lack ambition can lead to adapting these same behaviors yourself. This is why it's so important to be mindful about who you choose to give your attention to. Being careful about whom you trust can help you ensure that you don't pick up any bad habits from them. How to choose wisely. To choose wisely when deciding whom to surround yourself with takes effort and discernment. It's important to assess each person individually and decide if they possess qualities that will help bring out the best in you or if there's someone who will drag you down by their own words or actions. It's also important to think carefully about joining any social circles or groups and ask yourself whether these people share similar values, goals as yours, 
before making any commitments. The law of requiring states that the people we spend our time with can shape us for better or worse, depending on what type of person they are and how much influence they have over us. When choosing friends or joining social circles, it's important to remember this law so that we can surround ourselves with positive influences who will help us reach our full potential rather than negative influences that can pull us back from achieving success in life. With thoughtfulness and discernment, when selecting friends, this law can become an asset rather than a liability, helping us become more empowered individuals with higher levels of self-confidence. The influence of the people we surround ourselves with. Number one, the concept of social comparison. The idea that we often compare ourselves with the people around us and how it impacts our beliefs and behaviors. Number two, the role that social influence plays in shaping our beliefs and behaviors. This could include both normative influence, the influence of others on our behaviors in order to conform to social norms, and informal influence, the influence of others on our behaviors and attitudes based on their perceived expertise or credibility. Number three, the idea that our social connections can provide us with a sense of belonging and connection which can have a positive impact on our mental health and well-being. Number four, the impact of social media and online communities on our beliefs and behaviors. While these can be a positive source of support and connection, they can also expose us to a wide range of perspectives and viewpoints that may challenge or reinforce our existing beliefs. Number five, the importance of considering the quality of our social connections rather than just the quantity. It is not necessary the number of people we surround ourselves with that matters, but rather the depth and the authenticity of those relationships. Groups of people. Have you ever noticed how being around a certain group of people can bring about a change in your beliefs and values? It may be subtle at first, or one that is more obvious, but either way, the people we surround ourselves with has an immense impact on our lives. This is known as the law of acquiring. Whatever we are most around will become part of our identity. In other words, who we spend time with influences who we become. The power of association. We all know that association can have a powerful influence on our lives. Since our beliefs and values are shaped by those around us, it's important to choose wisely when it comes to who we associate with. If you want to be successful in life, then you should strive to surround yourself with people who have similar goals and values as yourself. By doing this, you can help each other stay focused and motivated while also pushing each other towards success. On the flip side, if you associate yourself with negative influences, it may lead to feelings of failure or low self-esteem due to their lack of motivation and ambition. The effects of peer pressure. Another aspect of the law of requiring is peer pressure. How being around others affects your behavior and decisions. Peer pressure can be positive and negative. Some peers may encourage risky behaviors, such as drinking or drug use, while others may push for healthier activities such as sports or studying for college exams. It's important to recognize when peer pressure is influencing our decisions so that we can make conscious choices rather than following what everyone else is doing without giving it much thought. Developing healthy habits. The people we surround ourselves with can also shape our habits, both good and bad ones. For example, if you surround yourself with friends who prioritize fitness over partying on the weekends, then it's likely that you'll pick up on their healthy habits too. Similarly, if your friends are constantly gossiping or playing video games instead of studying for an exam or going out exploring new places together, then it's likely that these habits will rub off on you as well. The law of acquiring states that whoever we spend time with will eventually shape our beliefs and values for better or worse. So when choosing who to associate yourself with, 
Make sure they are positive influences who share similar goals as yours if you want to achieve success in life. Ultimately, it comes down to making conscious decisions about where your energy should go. Whether it's positive relationships or destructive behaviors. So choose wisely. It's also best to invest in relationships that help propel us towards success rather than stand in the way. The impact of surrounding ourselves with supportive people. Number one, the role that supportive relationships can play in providing emotional and psychological support. Surrounding yourself with people who are supportive and understanding can help us feel less isolated and more resilient in facing our challenges. Number two, the positive impact that supportive relationships can have on our sense of self-worth and esteem. When we are surrounded by people who believe in us and support our goals, it can help us feel more confident and capable. Number three, the role that supportive relationships can play in providing practical assistance and resources. A supportive network of friends and families may be able to offer advice, help with childcare or other responsibilities, or provide financial support. Number four, the impact that supportive relationships can have on our overall well-being and happiness. Studies have shown that people with strong social connections tend to be happier and healthier than those who are more isolated. Number five, the ways in which supportive relationships can help us feel more connected and fulfilled in our personal and professional lives. Surrounding ourselves with people who share our values and goals can help us to feel more purposeful and motivated. Mirror, mirror. Have you ever stopped to consider the impact that the people you surround yourself with have on your beliefs and values? According to the law of acquiring, the people we spend time with can reflect back to us our own beliefs and values, much like a mirror. This concept is based on the idea that we are influenced by the people we spend time with, and that this can either reinforce or challenge our existing beliefs and values. By understanding the role that the people we surround ourselves with plays in shaping our beliefs and values, we can better understand how to create environments that facilitate learning and growth. The influence of the people we surround ourselves with. It's no secret that the people we spend time with have a big impact on our thinking and behaviors. We are influenced by the people we surround ourselves with and this can either reinforce or challenge our existing beliefs and values. For example, if we surround ourselves with people who are supportive and encouraging, it could create a positive and uplifting environment that fosters learning and growth. On the other hand, if we surround ourselves with negative or toxic people, it can hold us back and discourage us from pursuing our goals. Surrounding ourselves with supportive people can have a number of benefits for our learning and growth. First and foremost, supportive relationships can provide us with an emotional and psychological support. When we are surrounded by people who are supportive and understanding, it can help us to feel less isolated and more resilient in the face of challenges. Additionally, supportive relationships can have a positive impact on our sense of worth and self-esteem. When we are surrounded by people who believe in us and support our goals, it can help us feel more confident and capable. Supportive relationships can also provide us with practical assistance and resources. For example, a supportive network of friends and families may be able to offer advice, help with childcare or other responsibilities, or provide financial support. In this way, Supportive relationships can help to create a sense of community and support that enables us to pursue our goals and achieve our dreams. Supportive relationships can have a positive impact on our overall well-being and happiness. Studies have shown that people who have strong social connections tend to be happier and healthier than those who are more isolated. And surrounding ourselves with supportive people can help us feel more connected and fulfilled in our personal and professional lives and can provide us a sense of purpose and meaning the impact of surrounding ourselves with negative or toxic people. While surrounding ourselves with supportive people can have many positive impacts on our learning and growth, surrounding ourselves with negative people or toxic people can have the opposite effect. Negative or toxic people can be draining and demoralizing, and they can hold us back from pursuing our goals. 
and they may be critical or judgmental, or they may discourage us from taking risks or trying new things. Surrounding ourselves with negative or toxic people can also have a negative impact on our mental health and well-being. Our environment. As we go through life, it's easy to forget how much influence our environment has on us. The people we surround ourselves with can shape the way we think and act, as well as our beliefs and values. And this is known as the law of acquiring, the idea that we become like those around us. So who are you surrounding yourself with? Who do you want to be like? Let's take a look at why this law matters and how it can help you become the best version of yourself. The benefits of positive people. Surrounding yourself with positive people can have a number of benefits for your mental health. Those with an upbeat attitude often provides encouragement, which helps provide confidence and self-esteem. A positive outlook also makes difficult tasks or challenges more manageable, allowing you to tackle them head on without getting discouraged or overwhelmed. Additionally, when in the company of other happy individuals, you are likely to catch their enthusiasm and feel inspired by their energy. What about negative people? On the other hand, if you surround yourself with negative people, it could sink your mood and drain your energy levels. Not something that will get you any closer to achieving your goals. It can also limit your ability to see opportunities. After all, when all someone does is focus on what they can't do instead of what they can do, it becomes easy to adopt a defeatist mindset rather than one focus on potential solutions or success. Finally, negative people tend to bring out the worst in each other. Studies show that when people interact in groups, they tend to mimic each other's behavior. Meaning that if one person is negative, then everyone else will follow suit. Choose wisely. When selecting who you want to spend time with, successful relationships involve mutual respect and support. So make sure the people in your life are kind, honest, encouraging, and inspiring. Of course, this doesn't mean avoiding anyone who isn't exactly like you. Diversity should be embraced. But being aware of how others shape our beliefs and values is an important part of taking ownership over our lives. Whether we realize it or not, the people we surround ourselves with have a huge impact on our lives, both positively and negatively. That's why it's so important to pay attention to who we let into our lives and ensure that they share the same values that align with our goals and successes. By understanding the law of acquiring, that we become like those around us, all of us are better equipped to make decisions about their relationships and prioritize finding balance between work, hobbies, family, friends. Doing so sets them up for long-term success because having strong relationships yields rich rewards such as increased productivity, higher motivation levels, improved self-esteem, greater creativity, enhanced problem-solving skills, better decision-making, etc. In short, being mindful about who surrounds you, it could mean the difference between success and failure. Strategies for surrounding ourselves with supportive people. So how can we go about surrounding ourselves with supportive people? Here are a few strategies to consider. Number one, identify the people in your life who are supportive and encouraging and make an effort to spend more time with them. This could include friends, family members, mentors, or colleagues. Number two, consider joining a group or organization that aligns with your values and beliefs. This can be a great way to connect with like-minded people who share your interests and passions. Number three, seek out opportunities for mentorship or coaching. Working with a mentor or coach can provide valuable guidance and support as you pursue your goals. Number four, consider the role that social media and online communities plays in your life. While these can be positive sources of support and connections, they can also expose you to a wide range of perspectives and viewpoints that may challenge or reinforce your existing beliefs. Be mindful of the content you consume and the people you interact with online. Number five, 
Remember that it's not necessary the number of people you surround yourself with that matters, but rather the depth and the authenticity of those relationships. It's better to have a few close, supportive relationships than a large number of shallow, superficial connections. The real importance of actively building and maintaining supportive relationships. It's not enough to simply surround ourselves with supportive people. We also need to actively work to build and maintain those relationships. This could involve making an effort to stay in touch, being there for each other during difficult times, and showing appreciation and gratitude for the support we receive. Building and maintaining supportive relationships takes time and effort, but it's well worth it. The people we surround ourselves with can have a profound impact on our learning and growth. And by actively building and maintaining supportive relationships, we can create an environment that fosters personal development and growth. The law of acquiring reminds us of the important role that people we surround ourselves with play in shaping our beliefs and values. By surrounding how the people we spend time with can influence our thinking and behavior, we can better understand how to create environments that facilitate learning and growth. Surrounding ourselves with supportive people can have a number of positive impacts on our learning and growth, including providing emotional and psychological support, improving our sense of worth and self-esteem, and helping us feel more connected and fulfilled. And on the other hand, surrounding ourselves with negative and toxic people. And on the other hand, surrounding ourselves with negative or toxic people can hold us back and discourage us from pursuing our goals. To surround ourselves with supportive people, we can identify the supportive relationships in our lives and make an effort to spend more time with these individuals. We could also seek out opportunities to connect with like-minded people through groups or organizations or consider mentorship or coaching and be mindful of the role that social media and online communities plays in our lives. Finally, it's important to actively work to build and maintain supportive relationships as these take time and effort to cultivate. By understanding the law of acquiring and actively seeking out supportive relationships, we can create an environment that fosters personal development and growth. I'm Leroy Glover, and I thank you.